In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to transform your mindset. This is a critical topic if you wanna actually be able to transform your life. You gotta change the way you think. So many people have the wrong mindset. Many of you, maybe you still have that victim mindset. You're trying to develop the bulldog mindset, but you don't know how. I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man. I teach you how to build financial independence, how to get the physique you want, how to get the girls you want, and how to go from the victim mindset to the bulldog mindset. If that sounds like something you are all about, click that subscribe button, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I feel like I gotta say that now that Graham says that and it works for him. What we're talking about today is transforming your mindset. Your mindset, all right, the way I define it, is sort of your window into the world, how you see the world. You could think of it as your basic code for running your operating system, which is you. What your mindset determines is really what you do. Everything that you do, whether something feels hard or easier, you enjoy it or not, whether you feel motivated or not, right? It's all sort of embedded in your mindset. Okay, how you treat other people, how you behave, all of these things are mindset related type of thing. And so we wanna be able to transform our mindsets, first of all, from fixed mindset, which are the victim mindset, to a growth mindset, or whatever mindset that you want to have to be able to accomplish the goals that you want in life. If your mindset is wrong, it doesn't matter what you do, it's gonna be really difficult to do something that you are not built to do, that's not within your nature. So the first thing that you need to do is to cut out the negative feedback loops that you're currently in. Most of us that are not in the mindset that we want to have negative feedback loops that keep on replaying and keep us in there. So let me tell you what a negative feedback loop is. Maybe you're doing no fap, okay? So no fapping, all right? No looking at porn, no jacking off, none of that. You fall off the wagon, all right? You, <laughs> you, 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 you just can't help yourself, okay? So what happens is immediately after that, you feel like a fucking shit bag, because you're a shit bag, because you're fucking weak, right? That's what, this is the thoughts that are going through your head, okay? So you feel very depressed. Okay, you're beating yourself up, you feel horrible, you feel like a failure in life, you feel worse than you did before. You're kind of drowning in your pity. And then as you're drowning in your pity, you think, you know what? There's only one thing that will make me feel better. <laughs> and what is that? So you type in your favorite porn website onto your computer and there you are at it again. And you're feeling a little bit good when you're doing that. But then right afterwards, you're like, fuck, I can't believe I did it again. I relapse again and then it just cycles, it just cycles and cycles and cycles. And maybe you start to do other destructive habits. Maybe you start eating a bunch of shit. You're like, oh, fuck my diet, fuck all this shit. I hate women, and I hate the world, and everybody hates me, and fuck them all. We have these all the time, right? If you break your diet, you go into a negative feedback loop, most of you do, okay? Where you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I feel so bad. I was doing so good. And then you're like, well, I guess the only thing that's gonna make me happy right now is to eat some more shit. So you eat more shit or you don't go to the gym and then bam, you just keep on going down that downward spiral. So you have to break it. How do you break these negative feedback loops? If you're a fucking loser, I know why. It's because you've been trapped in this fucking spiral for you. You weren't always a fucking loser. All right, there was some point where you fucking did some awesome shit, where you excelled, where you felt like you were on top of the world. But some shit happened in your life and you just stayed in that zone. You just kept on playing World of Warcraft for years and years and years and you pissed away your whole fucking life and you got into that, that state. That's why you're a loser. How do you break a negative feedback cycle? You take away the reward because every negative feedback cycle has a reward built into it. When you overeat on your diet and you feel like shit, what do you do? You need something to make you happy. So you fucking eat more. You have to take the reward out so you don't allow yourself to have the positive, the dopamine hit, okay, that will eventually put you back into it. Now, you might say, John, well, that's just, isn't that the same thing as just like not doing the bad thing? Yes, but we're talking about mindset here. This will help you to change your mindset, okay? And this is a way of looking at things. You can look at things by saying, oh, don't do this. Instead, you can look at something by saying, I'm taking away the reward. I'm not giving myself a reward. Instead of viewing something as a relapse, you view it as a reward and you recognize that it is a reward. You're rewarding yourself for bad behavior. That's why you continue the bad behavior. Habits are formed by a stimulus, an action, and then a reward. That's a habit loop, okay? Charles Duhigg, yeah, The Power of Habit, read that book if you haven't. If you take away the reward, okay, you will essentially break the habit. The negative feedback loops that you're in are putting you in a negative state, okay? You're in a negative mindset, 
all right? And when you get rid of that and you stop it, you stop beating yourself up and shaming yourself and feeling like crap, your mindset will change. The second one here, and this one is probably the most important, get around the right people. The people who you are around will influence you more than any other factor in your life. Nothing else comes close. If you hang around losers, you will have a loser mindset. And I can tell you, I'll just tell you my story real quickly. I was not a person in front of a camera making videos on YouTube. I was not an entrepreneur. I was not a real estate investor. Okay, I was not a multimillionaire. I was not an outgoing person. I was very shy, all right? I was very lazy, all right? All of the things that I am now, I am not, I was not those things, okay? I was not fit, okay? <laughs> I was fat. What changed, okay, was who I started associating with. I was working in the cubicle farm, okay? Working in the cubicle farm, doing my software development, good boy, good job, get your paycheck, okay? And I met this friend at a, this guy at this, this Magic the Gathering tournament. I was playing Magic the Gathering, that's how nerdy I was. Met this dude, right? He runs an online Magic the Gathering store. I'm like, wait a minute, what, but what is, what is your job? And he's like, I, that, I have my store, my website. And I'm like, really? And he's like, He's like making as much money as me. There's more money than me. And I'm a fucking software developer. I'm like, how the fuck is this possible? Right? No one does this. No one runs an online business. But here he is, right? Changed my fucking mind. I started hanging out with the dude. Pretty soon I got it in my head. I'm like, fuck, I can't just work a regular job. What am I doing? Right? Changed my life, right? Now, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I made some missteps here and there. But it, it started to move me in that direction. When I started hanging out with really fit people, bam, it started moving me in that direction. Now, all the people I associate with, all my friends, they're all entrepreneurs. They're all running their businesses, all doing... The only world I know, the only mindset I can possibly have now is fucking hardworking, fit, crazy animal people who run their own businesses. That's it. How do you do this, okay? There's two ways. We have a community. It is the way to develop the mindset, to transform the mindset. It's a primary value there because you're around other bulldogs who have this mindset, right? So that's one way to get in, right? Because you know that you're going to be around people that are successful, okay? That are successful in dating, in finance, in fitness. If you want to join the Bulldog Mindset membership and be part of a group of people who I put together to do that, you can click below. There's a link there. Even if you don't, go and find that group yourself or make the group yourself, okay? It's, it's critical. You will not get out of your cocoon. You will not change. You will not transform yourself. You will not transform your mind, your mindset, unless you are around the right group of people. In fact, if you're around the wrong group of people, it will go the opposite direction. I promise you. The reason why I am successful, I, uh, I have discipline, yes, but not, not an inhuman amount of discipline. All right? I have less than you think and less willpower than you think. Probably more than most, but less than you think. It's because of my environment, because I have engineered my environment so that I require less of it. So the last one here, do things that make you uncomfortable, physically, emotionally, however it is. If you go out there and do shit that you're afraid to do that makes you uncomfortable, wow, it, it, it changes things for you. It changes your whole mindset, okay? So go out there, right? I push clients and I'm like, dude, you're gonna go and you're gonna go talk to that girl. You're gonna go stop that group right now. Stop them, stop them, stop them, say hi, right? It's like. Once I do that, and, I, and he's like, oh, I feel uncomfortable. Good. Yes, your heart should be beating. Is your heart beating? In fact, I ask that question a lot of times. How's your heart? Is it is it beating really hard right now? Good. Good. We want this. We want uncomfortable. The reason why you have the mindset that you have right now, and the reason why it doesn't change, is because you have the same stimulus. You're in the same environment. You're in the you're in your comfort zone. So how is your mindset going to change when there's nothing new? You're in the, you're this in this comfortable bubble. Look at this, I'm in my comfort zone. My mindset is exactly the same while I'm in my comfort zone. Now, if I jump out of my comfort zone all the way out here, guess what happens? My mindset has to change because I'm like, oh, wait a minute, there's fucking guys out there. There's, they got, there's pirates out there, there's aliens out there. There's like, there's shit I haven't experienced out there. There's girls out there, they're crazy. I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid to jump off of this cliff. I'm afraid of this roller coaster. I'm afraid of, of what someone's gonna think of me if I just say something I'm in public. I, what if I say the wrong thing? Bam, all this shit's going through your head, okay? Your heart is pounding, all right? You're uncomfortable. You're like, I, I'm, a, I'm on the stage. I'm talking to people. Like, all of these things, right? All of these uncomfortable situations. What, what happens is it requires your brain to say, well, wait a minute. The reality that I thought, I only knew this reality in this little bubble, right? 
there's a bigger reality. Oh, my bubble got bigger. Okay, when your bubble gets bigger, your brain encompasses more of the reality, more of your mindset. Remember, it's like your worldview goes into your head and you see a bigger picture and it transforms who you become. Go check out the Bulldog Mindset membership. At least join and you can cancel any time. I would like you to join if you're the right kind of person that will help other people and you want to really develop the mindset. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Join the membership if you haven't already. And you know, the like for the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.